Trillions of US dollars flowing through cryptos like Stellar XLM would require significant adoption and integration with TradFi, the traditional financial systems, right? Well, there are several major points to consider for this to happen. Because if you wanna make those huge profits, that 260K plus in a relatively short space of time, you need to do your research, right? You need to ensure that your portfolio is allocated correctly and do your technical and fundamental analysis to understand why and how these trillions could flow. So let's jump right in. Point one, increased adoption. Stellar or any other cryptocurrency would need to gain widespread adoption among individual investors, businesses, and financial institutes. This would involve building trust, demonstrating its utility, and overcoming regulatory challenges. And we know Stella has partnerships with major institutes and remittance companies like MoneyGram, Franklin Templeton, Wisdom Tree, as to which BlackRock own one tenth of the shares. But also, interestingly, Stella Development Foundation sits on the crypto board of the CFTC alongside Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and BlackRock being the only crypto organization to do this. And we know the SEC are losing the case against the big hitters, the ripples, the grayscales, and potentially Coinbase. But we've really got to see the multi-trillion dollar firm, Franklin Templeton's CEO, Jenny Johnson, explain best how the trillions could flow. Jenny, over to you. I tell people, I think the two biggest disruptors to any industry are gonna be AI and blockchain, right? And, and then I follow it with, Bitcoin is the greatest distraction from the greatest disruption that is uh, ultimately coming to financial services and other businesses. And that is not to say that Bitcoin has no value. Um, uh, actually, it was someone in this region who uh, pointed out to me that you know just the fact that the U.S. confiscated assets from Russia uh, would would drive people into asset classes like Bitcoin because uh, there would be a, a view that those assets could be outside of any government confiscating them. So I'm not saying that Bitcoin is going to have some value, but to me, what's so interesting about blockchain and what is really unique is if you think about what the blockchain technology does. It does three things. It allows a payment mechanism, it allows a smart contract, and it allows a general ledger that is a source of truth. Um, if you think about what happened, we were talking earlier about the regional banking crisis. One of the issues that happened was that as there became a lack of confidence in banks, uh, in particular regional banks, they weren't able to access the Fed window because it was sort of after hours, right? So if you have a source of truth, and a lot of that is due to historically how operations and settlement happened in businesses. Think about, you know, most big banks still have a big old mainframe that's doing batch processing at night. And so the markets were built like that, but as we become more global, it's gonna be imperative that the source of truth when the transaction happens, it is settled and you can have confidence of that. That is gonna actually open up to a more 24 hour time zone. So I think that's gonna be an important innovation. But back to the concept, I think for us as an asset manager, um, one is, the, the, the source of truth drives down the cost so we can deliver much greater customization for less. So that's a good thing, but it's going to unlock untraditional asset sources. I'm Nathan, AKA Nathan of Zion. I may not be a financial advisor, but I am your award winning Stellar XLM crypto developer. And if you want to make those huge profits, if you want to make that 250 K plus, you need to watch this video until the end, because it could be the difference between you making those massive profits or simply not making none at all. And that brings us to point two, integration with TradFi, with the traditional financial systems. It's clear several cryptos will utilize the ISO 222, the new messaging standard, alongside of Stellar, obviously. 
and Stella would need to establish partnerships and integrations with banks, payment processors, and other financial institutions to bridge the gap between traditional finance systems and the crypto world. This would allow seamless conversion between traditional currencies and Stella's digital assets. And you really should know by now, this is exactly what Stella does with the anchors connecting banks to financial institutes, remittance companies like the MoneyGrams, allowing Stella assets to exist like first class citizens that do more than just exist on the blockchain. They can go anywhere. They can essentially go anywhere. Connecting blockchains to other blockchains, financial institutions and other use cases via NFTs and smart contracts. These Stellar assets are autonomous, AI programmed into the blockchain, allowing market makers to make markets with AMM and much, much more. And that brings us to point three, regulatory frameworks. For widespread adoption, robust regulatory frameworks would need to be in place to ensure compliance, consumer protection, and prevent illicit activities. This would provide a safe environment for large volumes of funds to flow through cryptocurrencies. And we know that actually the White House have their White House frameworks for crypto, but it seems to be directed or geared more to CBDCs, in which Stellar XLM actually may have a partnership brewing up in the Ukraine to offer the platform for their CBDCs, but we need to watch that space, right? That brings us to point four, global remittances and cross-border payments. Stellar's fast and low-cost transaction capabilities could be leveraged for global remittances and cross-border payments. If Stellar were widely adopted, it could reduce fees and transaction times, making it an attractive option for individuals and businesses to move funds internationally. Which brings us on to point five, because it's what you'll need, tokenized assets and securities. The Stellar Network supports issuance and trading of tokenized assets and securities. If traditional financial instruments were tokenized on the Stellar blockchain, such as bonds, stocks, or commodities, or and commodities, it could attract institutional investors and unlock trillions of dollars of value. And it's clear, this is exactly what's happening with Franklin Templeton and Wisdom Tree, and we're moving in that direction. But we need to think about the stable coin. Point six, stable coins and fiat gateways can encompass the whole thing, the whole financial system inside into the blockchains, right? Stable coins, which are cryptocurrencies pegged to the value of traditional currencies like the US dollar, like the GBP, the pound, and the yen, and the euro, could be built on the Stellar Network. In fact, they are built on the Stellar Network because we know USDC is one prevalent example with USDC, EURC as well, right? And we know they could be built on the Stellar Network. We know, in fact, they are. These stable coins would provide stability and familiarity to users, further encouraging the flow of funds through the crypto ecosystem. It's important to note these aren't hypothetical steps anymore. And the actual path to trillions of US dollars flowing through Stellar or any other cryptocurrency is complex takes time and is uncertain. But really, the fact of the matter is, we see these financial institutes use Stellar for their securities, for their bonds, for their commodities. And you've only got to look on the Stellar Expert website to realize that's what's going on, people. The financial institutions are now getting involved. It's clear. And that's why we're early and trillions could flow through cryptos 
like Stella XLM and you and I, your award-winning Stella XLM crypto developer could benefit. But if you wanna make those huge profits, if you wanna make that 250K plus in a relatively short space of time, it's clear we need to continue to conduct our research. We need to carry out technical analysis on each crypto to get your entries and fundamentally speaking, identify where the trend is going by keeping up to date with the news, by using Zion Coins crypto market cap, and surveying all of these coins and checking out the news down below there on a daily basis. If you wanna make that 250K plus, you need to check out the next video coming up. Check it out. I'm Nathan, AKA Nathan of Zion. Smash the Zion coin up there. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Check out that next video. Have a great day now. Take care.